Hello my YouTube subscribers, I'm here with another e-liquid review and uh, today it's actually the same day as the last video but it looks like it's uh, a new video or a new day. Uh, I'm still wearing the same clothes. For you it's a new day, for me it's the same day. Today I'm going to be reviewing Love Potion number 9. This is uh, another rocket fuel uh, e-liquid and uh, you know I enjoyed the last one, the cat's meow. I enjoyed it. I thought it was uh, pretty good. It wasn't a favorite, but um, you know, I thought I still thought it was pretty good, and I actually enjoyed vaping on that. I don't even remember what it was. Coconut macaroon? Yeah, I think it was coconut macaroon. This is eight, another 18 milligram bottle. Um, so it's gonna have some heavy throat hit for me, anyways. Um, I have not smelled this. It's a uh, white peach and fig, but uh, maybe I have smelled it. Let's f let's find out. It's got a nice, uh, fresh, peachy smell to it. Not too bad. Well, let's see how it vapes. So I'm gonna be vaping on my uh, Igo uh, W3, and uh, it's. The same coil I've been using. I don't know if I should change wicks for something like this. Um, you other RDA users, uh, let me know. I'm still a noob in the RDA world, so let me know. Should I be changing wicks for this? That's you know, it's relatively clean. I don't want to change it. Um, dual coil, eight wrap micro coil, but uh, it should be relatively clean. Um, it smells pretty good. Once the uh, liquid hits the air it smells pretty good let's take a look at the actual liquid uh, you can't see it inside this dark bottle so let's take a look at the liquid um, out the uh, blunt tip syringe which I absolutely adore still looks kind of sick and you can tell wow it's pretty thin not you know it's not very viscous and uh, it's got a mild yellow coloration to it so I'm betting this is about 70 30 PG BG would be the ratio um, so it might not vape too well you know it might not put out the big clouds but um, it should it should do the trick let's see how she tastes mm. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, I like that. Oh. I really like that. Wow, pleasantly surprised by Love Potion number 9. I'm actually really surprised by this. It's got a nice uh fresh uh, peachy flavor to it, you know the peach isn't isn't strong. Um, it's got a nice the, the peach flavor to it is is it's like a fresh peach. Um, it's really good, really good. Mm. Yeah, that's really lifelike. I think. Um, when I'm when I'm thinking of figs, man, I'm thinking you know that uh, you know they're kind of a, a meaty fruit, and they got all those seeds in them. But the they got that uh, it's a, for me it's a hard to describe flavor, but um, it definitely has like a nice nice underpinning of that uh, that meaty um, quality of a of a fig fruit. Uh, with this fresh overtone of peach, and I, I was avoiding this flavor because I thought it would be another flavor that I might, you know, not really like. But uh, that's why it's one of the last flavors of the sample box I reviewed. But actually, I'm really surprised at how much I like this right now. Mm-hmm. The fruitiness, you know, it's not exactly a really fruity, fruity flavor to it. 
it's got a nice sweetness to it and uh, I'm gonna put some more on here it's it's got a nice uh, pleasant mild fruitiness and then a uh, uh, like a uh, not an overly strong sweetness, and I think the sweetness is coming from the fig flavor, so it's got kind of that. And um, boy, it it vapes pretty good. And that punch of peach is really nice. Ah, I like this flavor. I really like this flavor. I really do. Oh man, this is a flavor I would I would want to share with people because it's um, it's just it's like I don't know, man. It's so friendly and inviting. Hmm. You know, I could see this being an all day vape. To be honest, I like that. The mm, I really like that. It's got a on the inhale. I'm getting a strong, not overly strong, but like a, a large overtone of this fresh peach flavor. And it's a really good fresh peach. It's really good. And then uh, uh, underneath it is like this uh, uh, the, the tough sweetness of a of a fig. <laughs> And uh, then on the exhale, it, it, it tastes sweeter. So, like, the peach is on the inhale, and then on the exhale, you get that, the fig flavor. At least for me, and uh, that's how I'm getting it. And uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I really am. Man, that's so good. That really is. So good. Oh boy, I absolutely love this flavor. I do. It's the the throat hit isn't too strong for being 18 milligrams. Um, I'm definitely feeling the nicotine though. Uh, I have a hard time vaping on uh, 18 milligrams the way it is. Um, accident, accidentally my ass. I actually tossed last video's flavor into the trash it's sitting in the trash right now and I don't plan on pulling it out but here I am absolutely adoring this flavor love potion number nine uh, rocket fuel vapes uh, I'm guessing this is about 10 milliliters and unfortunately I think it's too small of a bottle for me this is, this is a great flavor in my personal opinion uh, really really good the, the flavors are really lifelike and uh, they're mixed really well and I think that I think vaping it really just brings out that uh, that peach flavor and that fig flavor really good it rocket fuel did a really good job with this one so uh, yeah I I gotta say I might hunt this down I really want to hunt this down and uh, pick up a, another bottle I'm going to have to save this bottle and uh, put this on my to-get list. This is really good. My personal opinion, I love this flavor. I think it's fantastic. Um, the smell... The smell isn't as strong as the as the flavor. But the flavor is really not like over, an overpowering uh, flavor either. It's like so mild and so friendly on the palate. It's just... I don't know. So, it, like I said, it's it's an inviting, friendly flavor. It's really enjoyable. Oh, it's so good. Oh, really, really good, really good. Fine. Thank you, Zampa Box. Thank you, Rocket Fuel. Really good. Really pleased with uh, Love Potion Number Nine. It's not gonna last me. But uh, I'll try and make it last. One more vape on here. I'm telling you that is delicious. To me, anyways, that's a delicious flavor. I I really enjoy it.
Now I got two, no, I got one more flavor left to review, and that's Blueprint A-Train, which I have been vaping on for a while. And I'll save that review for another, excuse me, another video. And I got no Zample Box today. My Zample Box didn't come in the mail today. So hopefully it arrives tomorrow. I'll drink pop. I got burps. Excuse me. So hopefully it arrives tomorrow and I get to do an unboxing, but I don't know. Uh, there are a few flavors I want to review from S&G, and um, I want to get some uh, Capone. I was going to get Capone last month, or this month, but uh, no, it was last month, but uh, I didn't get it. So the, there's new flavors that they got, and they have four flavors called, what was it, the Horseman, which is the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So I'm going to be doing all four of those, and uh, I want to see how they do. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I've done an S&G Vapor review, and uh, they're in my home state, so i got to give them love. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to put out an order for those. In the meantime, I'm really going to enjoy this uh, Love Potion number 9. So I feel like this deserves a nice close-up. Focus, damn you, camera. Focus. You better focus. Love Potion number 9. There we go, finally. Bitch ass. Yes. Buy rocket fuel. Boom. And uh, it's good. I I really am enjoying this flavor. It's uh, fantastic. So I'm going to be vaping on this for the rest of the day, rest of the night, and uh, possibly into tomorrow. Um, we'll see how long this lasts me. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and click like. Uh, feel free to leave me a comment. I do try to respond to all of my commenters. And if you haven't clicked subscribe, go ahead and click subscribe now. I'll be doing more reviews in the future and I'm going to hit up this uh, Aga W3 with a view later and maybe some builds I might get creative and actually do some uh, some of my own creative builds but I'm not 100% sure because I'm a nub mm, that's delicious until next video